This is the new BMS which I've decided I'm going to fit today. And I don't want to. I've got to, but I don't want to. So I've got to take all this off. All of it's got to come off. <laughs> I don't want to. I really don't want to. But I've got to. You know those things, you just don't want to do it because you know something's going to go wrong somewhere. <laughs> So I'm going to start, this is in two sections, I'm going to start and cut that piece off because there's nothing in there apart from uh, the charger which is there. So uh, I don't want to. I've turned the light off so as you can see flashy lights. The BMS is uh, it's fitted, it's not finished, definitely not finished. It's fitted, it's working, it's actually balancing the cells now. I'm on the phone app. You can see that it's trying to bring them to um, that high stroke low, uh, should be 0 0.010. So it's 100 millivolts, no, 10 millivolts, dickhead. And you can see it's balancing the cells now. So what I've got to do next is uh, wire up the charge circuit, which I can't remember where it is. That's for the on-off switch for this. That's not even getting warm. That's actually balancing. Or is it the bottom that gets warm? So we're not quite right there, because the temperature says 58 degrees on there, but that ain't, unless it takes a long time for that. There's actually a pad underneath, and it's probably about 5mm thick that goes down onto the resistors, the balance resistors. So I'm wondering if I might have to do something else with that. Anyway, so that's that. This is the um, one that's got to go to C negative, which is also the charge negative and the power negative, or the, the load negative, so I've got to wire that up. That's for the on off switch for that, simply as, simple as. And all these are the wires for the um, all the lights as well, so I've got to sort all that out. And then put the cowling back on. I've been very busy, uh, all that's been redone, it's covered ready, um, I've had to buy some new um, covering for that because I had to take it off because I wasn't happy with it because it was rippled but now it should be okay, so that's all ready to be covered. Uh, the control panel part I've had to reprint again, um, it used to be printed there was this piece here and then it was down to about there and then there was the back piece I think or was it up to there don't remember anyway what I've done is I've printed it in two halves left and right uh, purely because of warpage and stuff like that if you print it in two uniform places you can near enough guarantee that the warpage will be the same on both sides so as it does fit together but I mean that's absolutely 100% solid now it was rattly before this is only held on with um, it's just double sided tape but it's ridiculous well it's velcro sort of thing but <laughs> that ain't going anywhere um, the BMS is fitted and as far as I can tell it's working the charge ports there the switch or the power switch for the BMS is there so if I turn it on um, let's turn that light off a sec you see that's I've put that external so as I know when the BMS is actually powered up uh, because it's hard to see when it's actually running so that's that so what I'll do is, if I fire the phone up now, 
and run the BMS software. It's connected. So I can power this up. Actually, I'll turn the light off again. Like that. So you can see that's reading 68.4 volts. So if I go on to the charge side of this, that's saying 68.4 volts. So it's exactly the same. And there's the voltage of each of the, each of the cells. And if I want to balance those cells now, all I do is I go to balance and it's saying it's confirmed and now it'll say balancing cells and you can see they, they change colours basically green means it's actually um, I think I can't remember now, I can't remember what I set it at <laughs> you can see the difference, the high low thing is 0 0.002 volts difference between any of the cells so that's running like that that's running perfectly like that which I can also turn that off so I don't need that on really it's got a double fail safe thing um, if I wanted to have if I wanted to have that on I could leave that actually powered on I don't need to turn it off I don't need that that, that breakers there for over current um, but I can if I go back out of that turn the balance off so it's now shut down and I close that see it's powered up now but if I hit the switch if I hold the switch in It automatically turns it off. So really, I don't need that. Although it's it's good, it's good to have it. I prefer that. That's actually disconnected, physically disconnected the battery now. So the BMS, the BMS will still come on because it's connected directly to the battery. But you know, it's just it's a good failsafe thing. So it's all it's all done again. That's how I want it. The BMS is sitting on the top here, as you've already seen. So it's now, in my mind, perfect. I've been working on an easy to make weather station. I'm going to have to go to the hospital because I've just lost the end of my thumb and I don't know where it's gone.